everyone and welcome back to a new video welcome back to the channel hello if you are new here my name is roxanne also known as by bun and i'm a mixed media artist and illustrator and every month here on the channel i do my little monthly favorites which has slowly become like my monthly pattern <laughs> i think that's the thing now uh is i just make patterns inspired by either a bunch of favorites or one specific favorite Approaching these patterns with just kind of one idea in mind seems to be the easier way to go. So that's how I'm approaching it. Um, before I talk about what actually inspired this month's pattern, I do think I'm going to continue this next year, by the way, and I'm just going to do patterns, um, is that I want, I want to talk you through the process a little bit here because this was really interesting. Typically, when I'm doing my pattern process, I'll sort of like sketch up a few things and kind of figure out a way to like collage it together and usually they're like a couple of larger scale sort of drawings or sketches and it's really easy to create a pattern with um if you look at last month's pattern from may it was kind of just like two or no it was just one it was one giant like marionette that i had sketched and i just simply like flipped it around to kind of create the pattern for this particular one i wanted to do sort of like a little seascape and oceanscape that was inspired by a recent staycation and I didn't know how I was going to do the pattern. I thought maybe I'll just fill the page with seashells and I'll figure it out. I don't know. But either way, I figured let me start by sketching the seashells first and then I'll figure it out from there. And it ended up being a really good tactic. So pro tip, if you're trying to figure out how to create a pattern that has a lot of different elements and you're doing it by hand because your girl doesn't do anything digital. I don't do a digital art ever. Everything is drawn or painted and then I scan it you know when I go to make prints or whatever but all of my stuff is hand drawn I can't do things digitally I know it's very easy to create patterns you know in procreate and do all that sort of stuff but when you're doing it old school this is a really great way to do it have all of your elements on your page so I had all these different varieties of seashells different sizes um, different sort of like textures and looks and vibes and then I simply took a strip of tracing paper um, and then kind of just went around and grabbed, so to speak, different seashells off of my sketchbook page to then create my pattern. And it worked out great. And I just, my main goal was like at the end of each sort of pattern to make it as sort of like smooth as possible as far as like I could draw like a visual line on it so that if I wanted to, it'd be really easy for me to just take the strip and move it over to then create that repetition that I needed to. Um, it wasn't the tightest pattern design eh, that I could have made. I could have made it a little bit tighter, I think, and maybe like having the big seashell there um, at the end on the left side was probably not the best choice. It did make it a little bit trickier when I went to fill in the whole page. But I was able to like fake it till you make it and just kind of rotated the tracing paper around as I needed to, to kind of fill in blank space and bring the whole like pattern to life. I will say the pattern and the, the subject matter, the imagery was really tiny, which made this incredibly, incredibly time consuming to do. Uh, do not let this time lapse fool you. This took me a very, very long time. Um, totally worth it. You'll see in the end. I was very happy with how it turned out. It's a delightful little pattern. I'm actually thinking about maybe even scanning it and like offering it as a digital download or something because I really love the way that it turned out. Um, but I also love the combinations of colors. And you can see on that same page in my off-camera crinkle sketchbook, um, that same page that I'd used to draw all the seashells, I use that as my place to kind of test out colors. Um, you can see I'm using my Shinhan Pass Hybrid Gouache Watercolor Paints. Big fan of these, uh, especially because I most recently purchased the Giant Set. Um, I now have every color of this paint, which is a lot of fun. So you're going to see me using these quite a bit because I'm just, I'm still experimenting with them. I'm playing with different color combos and I'm just having a good, I'm just having a good time. I love this paint. Um, I especially learned in doing this spread here that I really love, there's a light gray color that comes in this big set and it's, um, 
it's 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 got like a little just a little hint of purple to it like a just a tiniest tinge um and I think I've talked about this somewhere else that like I think the average Joe would just be like oh it's gray but if you've studied like color theory and you really know it has just a tiny like periwinkle tinge to it and I absolutely loved it and taking that and pairing it with like this Linda Blair green which is what I anytime I see like a a barfy pea green. I call it Linda Blair green. Pairing it with a Linda Blair green like that, I loved the way that it looked. Those That seashell there with those two colors in it, the big ones, I love that color combo. Um, and it's making me want to explore kind of painting other things, um, other subject matter that has those two colors in it because it looks really cool. And I think putting a black outline on top of it, which I didn't do for this, but I think in future drawings could be really, really cool. Um, okay, so let's talk about the subject matter itself. Obviously, I did some seashells, did a little ocean vibe. This was fun too because it's not my usual subject matter. You guys know I typically do spooky stuff, uh, weird stuff. Um, this was just kind of like a normal good old little spread. <laughs> um, but I think that's what makes these like monthly favorites a lot of fun is that it kind of forces me to draw and think about things that I normally wouldn't sit down to do in my sketchbook, which is kind of cool. And I also like that I'm drawing from my own life experiences to inspire the work, which I do a lot to begin with. A lot of my art journaling, certainly my zines, a lot of my personal work is pulled directly out of my personal life. Um, but this is fun because it's got like that memory element to it in that I look back at these spreads and it immediately does transport me to like the mood, the feeling, the things that I did for that particular month. Um, so for seashells, we did a little staycation, a little family staycay, uh, vacay. It was a, we stayed at a little beach resort very close to us, and um, it was just a good time. I had never really done the beach resort thing before where you kind of just hunker down for a couple of days and you <laughs> hunker down as though it's like a challenge to do it. Um, where, you know, we were right by the beach. We could walk over to the beach if we wanted to. We were hanging out by the pool. Um, but I was uh, on the beach with my son, Roman, and collecting seashells and just like having a good old time. It just felt like such summer. And I think this is the first time in a long time where I feel like I'm really enjoying summer. I've put work maybe more on the back burner, even though I probably shouldn't. It has ended up on the back burner because I'm just doing lots of fun things and life feels really fun full and good and happy right now. And it's just, I haven't, I haven't had that in, in so many years. And I also feel like I have a really beautiful balance right now in my life with work and, um, you know, balancing like the work, work side of things and my just creative side of things of having ideas. And I'm creating all this, uh, different kind of work, which is really fun. And I'm just enjoying it to then just, uh, social life, spending more time with friends, going out and doing things, going places, taking little trips. Um, this staycation was especially fun too because I invited my parents along with us. So it was not only James and Roman and I, uh, it was, you know, Gma Poopa, that's what my son calls my parents, came along too. And it was just really fun to have those kind of special moments and that, you know, it was just a couple of days together, but it was really like a memory that I think I'm going to cherish for a long time. And it's actually making me teary-eyed. Oh my God. Um, this is why, this is why I usually just do a voiceover because then I don't have to do any like picture in picture business here, um, <laughs> revealing what's actually happening behind the camera. Um, but it was just a really like special trip and a good memory and, um, something that I know I'm going to remember for a long time. And that I know my son will too, because he's at that age where he's certainly going to remember things and, um, it was just a really fun, special trip, and I thought that just some this beautiful seashell pattern would be the best way to sort of capture that. Um, I did have some other favorites that were contenders potentially, but you know, now that I've been kind of doing this whole pattern thing, I do find that it's easier to pick sort of one moment, one memory, one item that I then use to create the spread. So I think that might be how I sort of tackle it moving forward is I pick one thing and I make a pattern inspired by that one thing. Um, unless somehow my favorites from the month like overlap thematically and I can bring them all in together, but I just think that that's gonna be really challenging um, 
just getting things to like look cohesive and look nice. By the way, I have a gardener outside and I apologize if you're hearing like a low rumbling of, of things outside. Um, I can't help that. So here we are. Um, Two other quick contenders of favorites for the month of June was my pasta tarot. I got that tarot deck and I absolutely love it. I have been using it and it is like the perfect summer tarot deck, which is what I was after. Um, if you want to watch an unboxing of that, that is here on the channel. You can watch me unbox that and get a real reaction of that tarot deck. Um, but I've been using it since I got it. And like I said, it's just like perfect summer vibes. It's a really beautiful um, well-rounded, well-represented deck, and it's just really fun to use. And the interpretations are fantastic. And it's been really fun as kind of like a more intuitive tarot card reader to um, really get to know this deck because the cards are really fun to read into and to like look at and take in in reading. So I cannot recommend that deck enough. Pasta Tarot, check it out. Again, the unboxing of that is here on the channel. Um, my other favorite... It's going to be really basic, but I did jot it down. It's a Stanley. I finally caved and I bought a Stanley. I have been resisting these stupid water bottles for so long because I was like, I'm not going to spend that much money on a on a tumbler. But I did, and I hate to admit that I absolutely love it, and I cannot wait to buy a second one <laughs> that I'm going to immediately have to hide from James because he gets mad every time I bring some new water vessel home. He's like, we don't have space for all this. What are you doing? Um, anywho, that about wraps up my favorites from the month of June. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out a new video every week. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.